Hello everyone, this is Balkrishna and today we are going to understand one basic and important topic in the automotive plastic product design that is what is class A, what is class B and what is class C. Here one product, you can see this is the plastic part, automotive part and in this part if you see, if you uh, segregate the class A surface, class B surface and class C surface, so this is the class A side of the product, you can see this is the class A side of the product. So class A side means visible side, okay, so where here class A side the customer can touch feel right and we can see from outside whatever the visible or aesthetic portion we can call as a class A surface of the product okay and then if I flip the product you can see this is the complete class B side of the product because here class A surface once finalized we are offsetting the class A surface and then we are creating the class B side it is a non-visible side okay and in the non-visible side, you can see all the B-side features are attached. Here you can see the snaps, locators, reefs are added, right? So this, all the features, we can see the class B features or B-side features because these features are attached to the B-side. So B, class B means non-visible side of the part. And then third is the class C. So class C, you can see this is completely the class, class C surface because it is closing between class A and class B. So this surface, you can see, it is closing completely to the class A and class B, okay? So the function of class A is the visible side, aesthetic side, the class B is the non-visible side. It is adding the thickness to the part and class C is the closing between class A and class B. So finally, we are joining all the class A, class B, class C, and then we are creating the closed volume and solid body of the part.